I'm so glad that he let me try it again. Cause the last time around I lived a whole world of sin. I'm so glad that I know more than I knew then. Gonna keep on trying till I reach the highest ground. Oh, oh, uh, won't nobody bring me down. Good morning. Good afternoon. <clears throat> Good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house. I am your host, Khadija. You know, today, I just want to touch briefly on, you know, some things that I have discovered about myself. And hopefully, if somebody else who can relate to what I'm saying or have um, even been in this position and they've been living their life this way. It's a rude awakening because once you start doing um, some recovery work on yourself, what you begin to uh, see is that most of the time when you've been around people who are narcissistic and you an empathetic person or um, you find yourself constantly constantly reacting this is one of the this is one of the telltale signs that you are abused yeah, or have narcissistic some type of abuse uh, or from your childhood pro program and I don't know what other word language to use other than abuse because it's not uh, a healthy response and I noticed within myself that I mean I've gotten a lot better I'm, I'm in no way fixed at all I'm still messed up and but what I see is that I used to be a serious serious reactor I mean just like one of those damn things sitting out in the field a reactor and so because I always felt like my opinion didn't matter or or it was being suppressed at some point, whether it was through church, my parents, uh, it really doesn't matter. I grew up with the programming, you know, of a suppressed uh, type of person, right? Hmm. So as I got older and people didn't validate me the way I needed them to, um, or because I felt mistreated, you know, and I'm just speaking in general, okay, not anything specific. It gave me uh, like a shell around myself to feel like I had to defend myself. And then if you physically fighting, if you if you emotionally fighting, physically fighting, um psychologically fighting then it it, it it leaves you kind of like a person that um, want to make sure nobody's going to be putting you in that position so what you find yourself doing is is reacting to a lot of things I mean and that's not all negative I mean just you just react somebody says something you know you know like oh react to that or my hi, how you doing? Uh, blah, blah, I'm reacting to that, and you know I have to say that, and so much more. And, um, reaction, reacting. I guess that's just the only way I can describe it. Is because the more I settle down, um, it's almost like things can happen around me, and it, I give the impression that I don't care. And it's not like I don't care, but I don't. Because I don't, I'm stopping myself from reacting to everything that these crazy people have done to me or have, you know, put me in a position I feel like I had to defend myself against. And, and they're all over the place. So that's why I think, that's what I think is a good practice and a good gauge to, to, to start with yourself as a lesson. Because when you're around a bunch of people who are personality disorder or narcissistic or whatever, 
you're going to find out that they know just what to do to push your buttons. And sometimes they make up lies. Um, they gaslight. To me, I, and I keep saying, gaslighting to me is one of the most horrible things that you can do to a person. In fact, it's one of the things that make you really, really react. Okay, because I think I did a video before about the man who sent me an email. Um... Uh, and it was, ha and, and I, I can relate to it because it happened in my relationship. And in this particular uh, video, the same thing. He was, he would always look for his keys, and he couldn't find them, and he would know where he put his keys in certain place, and, um, you know, and then he just installed the cameras for something totally different, not even for the purpose that he ended up finding it. Uh. But he set up cameras in his house, and then he noticed that his wife was gaslighting him. You know, so all the time that he was looking for his keys, she knew where they were because she moved them. And it's like, what kind of mind does that? Why would you do people like that? It's just crazy. Or if you're having a conversation with them, they act like they don't, they're oblivious to everything. Oh, what? Really? That happened? Oh, huh? Really? And, and they're the one that told you. Or they'll give you a half-truth, and then when you investigate a little bit more, then the story changes to something else, and it's, you know, it's just all crazy-making. That's gaslighting. <laughs> a lot of y'all know that gaslighting is something that really, really, um, it's all crazy, but the gaslighting, it's even a movie about it. You know, it's, it's, it's just really a, a, a bad mental game to play on people. But reacting to things like that, like I said, is kind of understandable. But when you live your whole life reacting, 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 I think you're sitting off some uh, chemical imbalances in your own body that cause you to be stressed out, that cause you to be on alert, that cause you to just not be able to relax. And I want to encourage y'all, those of y'all who are in recovery like myself, and trying to get to the bottom of this uh, craziness uh, with the people we have chosen to love or the people we have been born and families we have been born into um, and we walk around so resentful. I think those of us who are in that type of recovery is very important to see how we react to stuff. Okay? So <laughs> that's something that I had to share because it's something that it's so important. The reaction. Don't react to everything. You know. Because that's going to give your narcissist person extreme power. If they find out whatever rocks your boat. You know. They'll gaslight you on that. Or they'll say something. Or try to put up a roadblock in between that. Something that would just get you to, again to react. And the less you can, the less you can react, the better off you'll be. Take it from me. Okay? So, if you like what you hear, please subscribe. I appreciate you being out there. And uh, thank you. Let's do this journey. Let's do it. And I'll talk to you next time in the mental house. Bye-bye.